It made me feel empowered. I felt comfortable in that gi and um, I loved the movements. They just seemed to come naturally. I think training has really changed today. It's more than just physics. It, it, it's been life changing for me. If you're doing martial arts, you, number one, you're learning how to protect yourself and number two, you're staying in shape. They called me up, they said, you know, oh, why don't you come in and read for Bill and Ted, you know? And I said, okay, so I went on in there. And the minute I walked in there, they said, you got it. Peter Jennings, World News Tonight, did a story on me because I was on the cover of Karate Illustrated and they said they ended the story with, look out Hong Kong, here she comes. Lekka tied the, belt, the black belt around my waist. I, it was surreal. <laughs> the, the first time we did it, we competed at uh, Tadashi Yamashita's tournament. I had about 30 people competing and we didn't win one single thing at all. Being an alternative, set yourself up for a lot of ridicule. And I kind of dig it. I don't even think of age. Age is, you know, in my mind, I'm 30 and I act like it and I move like it. I had a biopsy done and when the results came back, it was positive for cancer. It was touch and go. And the doctors told me, get your paperwork. You know, dude, you're, you're checking out. You know, the doctor said, you can't work anymore. Because they said, next time you hit that ground, you ain't getting up. Very lucky because I have done everything. I don't have a bucket list, you know. Just keep trying. Don't be afraid to fail. Find yourself a good teacher. Also find out a style that you want to do. And to not quit. Dedicate six months of your life to see if that's the right thing for you or the right art. Train harder, smarter. Always be safe. It's not about busting someone in the mouth or breaking someone's bones. It really is movement, so we learn more about who we are. Right. <laughs>